Hey guys, it's Mia, and today I think I'm going to be trying to remove the green from my hair. Hopefully get it back to blonde, which is what it was before, before I put dark green over it five weeks ago. Essentially, I think I'm going to be doing a bleach bath, bleaching my roots, and just seeing where we are after the bleach bath, seeing how much green is still left. And if there's a lot, I'm probably going to put over a extremely mild pink, try and counteract that. If it's more blue, then an extremely mild sort of peachy colour. Um, a colour that should fade anyway to blonde and then I can tone up the brassiness of the peach or pink in time. So it might take a while to get me there. So in this bleach bath I am going to be using the Agora Royal 20 volume 6% developer with the blonde Jerome Russell um, powder bleach shampoo. There's not an exact part of how much bleach to use to develop that. I'm just going to eyeball it. Right, so I'm going to start with one packet of this. Some instructions say to do it on a one to one ratio. This one actually says one to three, so three lots of developer to one lot of powder. Um, but then obviously the, the instructions for the developer are different. So I'm going to mix it with shampoo anyway. It's gonna tone it down. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some shampoo. I don't really know how much shampoo I should be adding anyway. Every time I've done this before, it's been different amounts. All came out decent. Let's hope that that, that trend continues. So there it is, mixed up. Um, <clears throat> if it's thick, you can add water. I'm gonna just see how it goes, because it seems a lot to me. I'm gonna go change into my hair dyeing clothes and start playing. Ta-da! So, the process of a bleach bath, you should have your hair wet so that the bleach can lather. So I'm just gonna go do that off camera. Hello! My hair is sort of towel dry damp. I've got my gloves on. So, I'm just gonna get into it. I'm gonna put it on my roots first because they have the darkest area. And I know that you should not ordinarily go to roots like that because natural heat from your head um, lightens the roots quicker but they are significantly darker than the rest of my head are, which is why I'm just doing this first I'm just going to go and do the roots off camera because it's really hard in these gloves to do it and record it Okay, so I've started applying it to the roots. I'm trying to do it very precisely, but I'm also trying to sort of do it very quickly. Just get it all on so that the processing time for the whole head is pretty similar. But I really, I don't want to miss any sections. Because it's been so diluted with shampoo, I'm not that bothered if there's a tiny bit of overlap because it's all gonna have this on it soon anyway. I'm going to go finish this side of my roots off camera. Okay, all of my roots are applied, so I'm just going to now start applying it all over my head. So I'm just gonna section it off so that I can just do it more precisely. My hair's so short right now, though, that it's so difficult to section. You can see it's starting to lighten up here where I started, but I know that that's just going to go bright orange. I am going to re-bleach my roots. I'm hoping that this uh, bleach bath is going to get out a lot of the green, although it doesn't look like it is doing a thing. Okay, yeah, my roots really are starting now to lighten a little bit and I do keep on just resaturating them. Um I'm starting to actually run out of bleach, which is surprising because I mean I showed you how full the bowl is uh bowl was when I started, how much I actually mixed up. It was a lot. Okay and now I'm making a mess and getting it all over myself. So it looks at this point like I'm going to have orange roots and green hair, which 
isn't cute. I feel like I'm definitely going to need to redo this. The green is just not, not shifting. I'm now seriously not thinking that this is going to be a green to blonde video anymore. You know what? I've got a massive box full of colour for rainy days. This is looking now like it might be just one of those rainy days. Okay, I'm just going to wait now. Uh, I'm going to check on it sort of every five minutes. But honestly, based off how orange my roots are, and that the colour hasn't even started to lift at all, it's probably going to be a good 40, 45 minutes before I wash it off. I'm going to get a plastic bag, I'm going to spritz it with water so that it doesn't, the bleach doesn't dry out, although based off this I really don't think it's going to. Hopefully that will just help this to work quicker. So I will see you after after I've decided to wash it out. Okay, it's been about 40 minutes I think and this is how it's looking. The colour's really not lifted at all and my roots are yellow and orange. So I'm gonna have to redo it. But for now I'm gonna go wash it out. Hey guys, I'm back and this is my hair. My roots I've obviously lightened a lot. I think I am still going to probably bleach them one more time. Just to really get them to a really nice blonde. Rather than yellow. What I will say is that my hair doesn't actually feel very damaged. I left conditioner on it for quite a while to try and fix some of the damage. You can't apply bleach to wet hair thought better to do it on dry hair so I think I am gonna have to dry it this really did a lighten but I'm quite pleased except the obviously the green which I was hoping wouldn't be green anymore I think there's some strands though that are like a pastely greeny white colour hey I'm back again and this is my hair it's pretty much dry and I'm probably gonna bleach it again I didn't really lose any hair um so I'm really sort of happy with that. Really disappointed that there's still so much green. <sighs> so I'm going to go in and bleach it again. Same stuff. I'm gonna eyeball it again. I know I shouldn't, but I want to. I guess we'll just see how much developer we end up with. So I'm kind of gonna leave it here. Mix it up and get it onto my head this powder is getting everywhere <laughs> it's so dry <sighs> yeah i'm gonna add a tiny bit more developer i really am eyeballing it completely i'm gonna just add a tiny bit of water i don't know if you can even see it's literally a teeny little bit and hopefully make this just a teeny bit more liquidy. I don't want to leave it long on my ends. I mean, some of them are white. I'm going to actually try to avoid the white parts. Because they obviously don't need bleaching. It's just the green. So I really don't know. But my, my roots are already yellow. So, so it, the whole thing's pretty light. It's not going to be on my head for long. Okay, this is mixed up. I'm gonna go get some gloves on and then let's apply some more bleach. Okay, my hair is all sectioned out, but looking at it, the bottom actually looks really, really pale. So I don't really want to leave it on there for the longest out of everywhere on my head. So I think I'm actually gonna start with this front section instead. I mean, you can see. Other than that one piece, you can kind of see the difference. Let's start bleaching. I feel like I should add shampoo. Don't want that. I want that. 
Bra. <laughs> I said, oh my god, I'll be so still like that sometimes. I don't know, he just runs off scared. Yep. He's just so cute. Oh, Bleach doesn't bother. Why am I doing that? Of Rocky barking at that, and Elvis started barking. I am going to. Should I add shampoo? I'll add a tiny bit. It's only that much shampoo that I'm adding. I'm going to try and whisper in really quick and then keep applying this to my head. Because obviously, <laughs> part of my head now already has bleach on, undiluted. And the rest. Oh. Oh, my eyes are stinging. My eyes are watering. Oh, look at my arm. It's so all the way down here. Yeah, okay, so I've just mixed up another lot of bleach and I'm gonna start whacking it on my head. I really don't want this to be on for long. Okay, so I've definitely saturated the hair. <laughs> Still yellow. <laughs> And still green. I don't want to risk my hair with another session of bleach though because like look how white this part is. There's a lot like that. So I'm gonna try to get rid of the green with pink because obviously green and red are opposite each other on the colour wheel and I'm hoping that that's just gonna counteract some of the green my hair is gonna be lighter once it is dry again though my hair feels okay i know it's wet but i didn't really lose any in the shower none is really fell out which i'm just really buzzing with and you can see none's really coming out brushing it either there are a lot of parts which are now just bolt white i'm gonna go to dry it see how it looks dry and decide what i'm gonna do from there on this is my hair i've got it a, a really light blonde <sighs> it's just these ends okay so i actually forgot to film an outro i'm really sorry but this was the end of part one green to pink transformation i really hope you enjoyed it i'm obviously filming this a little bit later on a few videos on so if you want to know how i got this makeup look or this hair and um, there are videos for both so i hope that you will check them out i'll leave links below um but yeah i just wanted to say thank you for watching this video stay tuned for part two i hope you enjoyed it it was a bit chaotic but whatever um yeah please like please subscribe and that's all I wanted to say really. Check out some of my other videos. Follow me on Instagram at hairbymia74. And yeah, thanks for watching this video. I will hopefully see you in one of my others.